The county of Los Angeles is the definition of a melting pot when it comes to different cultures and racial backgrounds. Families have been moving and immigrating to LA for decades. According to the US Census, 47% of LA County's population is of Latino descent, which is nearly half the entire population, which is kind of nuts. For this reason, Southsiders and Sudenos have always dominated the LA County jails when it comes down to numbers. Even most prisons that are located within California have an extremely high number of Latinos on the main line. Out of all the neighborhoods that have a historically low black population, one neighborhood is especially known for nearly having nothing but Latino residents, and that neighborhood is Wilmington. Wilmington is a neighborhood located in the harbor area within Los Angeles, home to the third largest oil field in the United States, nearly 20% of Wilmington is covered by oil refineries. For this reason, Wilmington had one of the highest death rates due to high levels of industrial pollution in the air. In 2010, the US Census reported 53,000 total residents and Latinos made up 88%. Even though the Blacks only made up 2% of the entire population of Wilmington, One Hood established roots and made a reputation for themselves despite being surrounded by rival Sudeño gangs. The East Side Pains, also known as Ghost Town Bloods, originated on the east side of Wilmington. Their neighborhood is located within a section of Wilmington that the locals refer to as Ghost Town, hence the name ghost town bloods their territory is around the pacific coast highway or more famously known as the pch between watson avenue and cruces street and one of their main clicks would be the 1400 block click ghost town has a population of about 1500 people within a 12 square mile radius near the long beach border the ghost town bloods are one of the most well-known hoods within their area and have been for many generations like other gang origin stories the Ghost Town Bloods was started in order to protect the local black youth from other neighboring Sureño gangs like the notorious Wilmas Dresa. Wilmas is an established hood that has been in the city of Wilmington since the 1950s and is rumored to have been around before the creation of the Mexican Mafia. They are one of the oldest gangs in all of Wilmington and for decades the east and west side have beefed with each other and countless bodies have been dropped in the process. The Eastside Wilmas have a clique called Ghost Town Locos and they share the Dana Strand projects with the Ghost Town Bloods. So needless to say, the Wilmas and the Ghost Town Bloods would put in work on the regular against each other. Aside from the Ghost Town Locos, there is another clique of Wilmas called Hyatt Street Locos and they were known to shoot at anybody that looked like a blood on sight. Like the Ghost Town Bloods, the Eastside Wilmas originated on the east side of Wilmington and have 650 documented members on gang file. But let's be honest, the biggest gang war the city of Wilmington has witnessed is not between the Eastside Wilmas and the Ghost Town Bloods. For decades, the Eastside Wilmas and the Westside Wilmas have been at war that started all the way back in 1986. Rumor has it, it was over a female, but of course it was. I feel like 90% of inner gang beefs always start over a female, but hey, disagree with me in the comment sections below. In the year 2000, there was a total of 39 gang related murders in the city of Wilmington, and it's believed that the Wilmas took credit for a lot of those bodies. The Eastside Wilmas have been known to put in work and have claimed the lives of many members from the Ghost Town Bloods. But the Ghost Town Bloods have also gotten their get back despite being outnumbered. They were known for having some real hitters. And when I say outnumbered, I really mean outnumbered. The Wilmas are the biggest Sureño gang in all of Wilmington, making all the other Southside gangs in their area look like small fry. The Eastside clique alone has triple the number of members than the Ghost Town Bloods. Aside from Wilmas, the Ghost Town Bloods have been known to go at it with all Crips sets from Long Beach, which include the Harbor City Crips, Dodge City Crips, Sons of Samoa, and the Rolling Twenties. Leave the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And one more thing, if you guys want to support my channel by becoming a member, it would help me out a lot. But of course, you guys don't have to join because I'm going to be coming out with the content regardless. But anyways, back to the video. The Ghost Town Bloods had a huge role in the drug and gun trade to the point where the local authorities viewed the Ghost Town Bloods as a quote, sophisticated organized crime group. 
end quote. For this reason, the ghost town bloods were drawing a lot of attention from the local police department, which eventually led to a five-month-long investigation carried out by Wilmington PD. During this investigation, multiple law enforcement informants would purchase narcotics and firearms from the ghost town bloods over a five month span eventually authorities were able to gather enough evidence and video surveillance to conduct a full-fledged raid this raid nearly wiped out the ghost town bloods back in 2007 500 law enforcement officials raided 22 homes and motels that were all associated with the ghost town bloods at about four o'clock in the morning so needless to say they caught them boys by surprise this raid locked up 43 reputable members and seven of them were charged with federal crimes and are facing multiple life sentences. After this raid, the ghost town bloods had less of a presence within their neighborhood, which eventually led to rumors that their hood might be extinct. But contrary to popular belief, the ghost town bloods are still active to this day and are still around but have a much more silent presence within the streets. But it only makes sense that this massive raid nearly took the whole gang out. When you get a bunch of top ranking members locked up, it's not uncommon to see hoods dismantled due to lack of leadership. The ghost town bloods were already a small hood to begin with. According to gang task, there are only about 200 documented members. So losing nearly 43 of them to the system in one night is a huge blow. We can't forget to mention the raid confiscated cash, all their narcotics, and their firearms. So needless to say, they were probably down pretty bad after this raid. Despite all of this, we've seen rappers like Gouda K3 dropping music videos and these videos were released in 2020. Judging from the videos, the ghost town blood still seem to have members and are definitely still around. And if you guys haven't checked out his music yet, I suggest you guys do so because y'all are missing out. But rumor on the street is that Wilmus may have taken their hood, but somebody in the comment section that actually is from Wilmington is going to have to confirm that one for me. So take that with a grain of salt. But let's be honest, it feels like the era of gangbanging is slowly coming to a close for a lot of the gangs within Los Angeles County. Rent prices skyrocketing forces low-income families to move out of areas, and we've seen hoods get turned into Whole Foods and Pilates studios. But Wilmington is one of those cities that has yet to be gentrified. However, if your hood ain't getting gentrified, law enforcement officials have been handing out RICO cases like food stamps, and many hoods have been affected by this as well. Don't forget to leave something in the comment sections if you feel like I missed something. Oh, and another thing, don't forget that I have a Discord server. We've got about 130 people in there right now, and they keep it pretty active. So if you guys are ever bored, come check out the server and hang out. But until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.